So welcome to the next installment of installing a Surex um, load cell card. You can see here a remote connection to our demo facility in Worcester. And what I'm going to do is um, add a WP321, which is a Surex card that can go on to ET200SP. Uh, as it stands at the moment, um, for PCS7 that would have to be the ET200SP high feature that would have to go on um, so always look in the PCS7 catalogue first so we're going to look at our uh, um, I think this is the uh, component view but I might be wrong but under here we have our different um, uh, windows on, on PCS7 and I want to put an additional WP 3, 2, 1 in here. So the first thing we need to do is open our libraries. As if we scroll through here, there's all sorts of libraries for PCS7. Okay, so I can see here the Citrans library faceplates and there is the WP321 APL library. If I come down, I have my template, and it is a case, I'll minimise this, of dragging that under my demo wall back folder. And I'm going to call this one Unschool Liquids. So I've got two there now. If I open this up, it shows you in green the connection that we need to make. So we need to understand where to make that connection. So if we go back to our project, we need to go to the hardware screen. So again, similar to TIA portal, I just need to make a, a note of my starting address. So for this particular model, it's 774. So I've come back to this screen, my object view. And this is just a, a textual interconnection showing you what to do. So. I interconnect an address, input word 774. Okay, um, and then it's a case of compiling. Changes only. So, if I just click the online view, um, I know it's not physically connected, but what it will do is it will it will make all these module driver connections for me to to prove that um, really it's uh, you know it's it's linked itself to the project. So it's just a quick test. I'm going to download that to the PLC now. So again, changes only. Okay, so it's downloaded with no errors. So this time if I go online, 
I should start to see data, which is good. So there we go. Um, we just need to visualize it now. So we're going to come out of that screen and to create the visualization. The important thing is um, what we have here is an engineering station and an operating station uh, rolled into one. If you have a, a separate OS, you will have to have the visualization part of the WP321 installed on that as well. But because it's all in one, it's an ESOS that we have here. I can see that it's added my uh, device. If it needed downloading, there'd be a little black arrow. So what we're going to do now is generate the graphics. So um, we go to plant hierarchy, have to right click in the folder and you'll see here, create update block icons. Okay, and I've, collect, I've selected it to only do demo wall back rather than the whole project. So I can look at the function log to see if there's any errors. And so the last thing that needs doing, if we go to the component view, I just need to compile the OS, so the visualization side of my project. I'm just selecting the demo wall back. So there we have it, um, I've compiled and added the uh, WP321 to the project. Um, I just need to refresh my screen and you can see it up here. And under this I can, I have all my commands, my parameters trends, uh, limit switch settings, and a bit more under here, so where I can set my units. So the really nice thing about um, uh, PCS7 is um, unlike TIA portal where I've got to be careful when I add multiple of these devices, I've got to start copying function calls and things like that. Um, PCS7, I just keep dragging that CFC into my project, generate the graphics, PCS7 sorts everything else out for me. So it's it's a lot more user friendly in that way, which we expect from a, a top end DCS. So the only thing I need to do is to position this icon on my vessel. So if I go back into my editor and I want to now open the project in the WinCC control center. You can navigate for the screens but the easiest way to, to do this is if I have a look at demo wall back there's my screen there if I just double click that that will open up the graphics designer. I can see my icon here. I just want to place that on that vessel. Save and if I go back to my project again I can wait for it to refresh manually but if I just go from one screen to the other there it is. So that concludes setting up the Cyrex on PCS7. Um, this version of PCS7 is version 9 um, but it's pretty similar um, because of the APL library for older versions going back to, to version 7. So I hope it's been useful.